Hello everyone and welcome on the straight line. Today I have with me here an ace geologist and the former head of department of geology in Jammu University, Professor G.M. Bhatt. We are here to ask him when will the next massive earthquake hit Jammu and Kashmir. Professor Bhatt, welcome to our show. Uh, thank you. Professor Bhatt, recently a publication came in a newspaper that uh, according to your research, a major earthquake will be hitting the city of Jammu and Kashmir soon. So tell us a little bit about that research. Which is not actually, we are not predicted that earthquake. Uh, it is a global phenomenon, and uh, Jammu and Kashmir falls in that zone, zone four and five. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a theory uh, that is known as return frequency uh, period mm -hmm. for the Himalayan region, particularly the northwest Himalaya, in which the Jammu and Kashmir state falls. It has a return period of major earthquake of 500 years. Mm -hmm. If you go back into the history. 1505, a major earthquake, 7.8, has hit this region. Mm -hmm. And after exactly after 50 years, then it was 1555 when an earthquake of magnitude plus 8 mm -hmm. was again recorded in this part, whose epicenter has been roughly located somewhere in the Punjab range of Jammu mm -hmm. Kashmir state. So, on the basis of 500 return period, scientists globally, including the famous geologist, uh, seismologist, Roger Bilham, he has uh, forecasted an earthquake of magnitude. Initially, he said 8.5, 8.4, and later on in 2013, he said it will be 9, and uh, 9 plus. So, these are the theories which are being uh, propagated about the earthquake, future earthquakes in Jammu and Kashmir state. But we cannot rule out the earthquake magnitude around 8 that is likely in this part of the Jammu and Kashmir state or Himalayan state of Jammu and Kashmir, which will affect definitely the surrounding states. Even it may affect Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, Pakistan part and Himachal. We have a history in this region, say Kangra earthquake, mm -hmm. 1905. It mm -hmm. was again 7.8. Mm -hmm. 2005, it mm -hmm. was again 7.6 as per IMD, but as per USGS, it was 5, 7.8. Mm -hmm. So these theories, when we take into account what has happened in the past in this region, say around next maybe 40, 50 years, we mm -hmm. can we can expect an earthquake of magnitude at least eight in this region. So what about these concrete uh, earthquakes that have been happening in the Doda region, or the minor earthquakes that happen here? Will that have any effect on the earthquake that will happen? in maybe 40 years, you say? Earthquakes in 2013, earthquakes of uh, Doda district, that is a local phenomenon. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the last one, which occurred in April and May that year, the magnitude was 5.4, and initially mm -hmm. it was 5.7, then recalculated 5.4. And uh, these are minor earthquakes, or you can say moderate earthquakes. Earthquake of magnitude plus six or plus seven mm -hmm. that are concerned, we should be concerned about those earthquakes. And similarly, earthquakes which are occurring in the northwest part, Pakistan, or around Udi or Muzaffarabad. Mm -hmm. Again, there is a cluster where the earthquakes are occurring. Other earthquakes which we feel in Jammu and Kashmir state, their epicenter is in um, the Pamirs or Hindu Kush region they would not be devastated for Jammu and Kashmir state. Whatever will happen within the Jammu and Kashmir with the epicenter, we should be concerned about that. The major earthquake that you're talking about, which could be the possible epicenters of that? It is very difficult to say. As per Bilham, initially he used to say epicenter will be Pierre Panjal. Mm -hmm. But in 2014 paper, which was published in Nature, he said it will be in Zanskar region. Mm -hmm. So it will be somewhere in Jammu and Kashmir uh, state, but we don't know exactly where it will be. And which will be the areas most affected by it? Earthquake magnitude 8 means devastation throughout Jammu and Kashmir and surrounding states. Mm -hmm. It hardly matters where it will occur, where the epicenter will be. Mm -hmm. Particularly the pattern of construction, uh, even structure buildings which we construct in Jammu mm -hmm. and Kashmir state. If we take them into account, so it will be a total destruction if it is 8 magnitude.
Recently, last year, there was uh, again a news quoting the Arizona University scientists who have conducted research in Jomo region around mm -hmm. this uh, Vishnu Devi Jayas area. They have forecasted this is a hot region. Maybe epicenter will be here. If it is epicenter is in around mm -hmm. Riyasi, then you can understand what will happen to Jammu and Kashmir city, Srinagar or Jammu or mm -hmm. even for that matter nearby city, states, Punjab or Pakistan, Lahore or maybe Kangra. It will be total devastation. And like the areas of construction you talked about, areas of old city where the buildings are jam-packed together and they are in very old, dilapidated conditions. Yeah. So will they be the most affected places and what is being done to, you know, safeguard them? If we talk about the old city of Jomo, it is a death trap. The building is about 200 years of age there in very bad condition. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about, if we take the theory of Bilham, say, 40, 50 years of time. So that is the perfect length of time. We should change our structure, reconstruct them in phase manner. So that, that is the only solution. Do you think the construction that is happening these days is accordingly a uh, bit not, safer? It's not according to uh, codes, building codes. We have codes for German and Kashmir system, mm -hmm. but nobody follows them. Mm -hmm. We get the building uh, structures passed by giving money. Even we encroach on the roads. So, uh, erect the buildings, then go according to our own will. So we are not constructing buildings as for the building codes. No, not at all. Are there any set guidelines for how the buildings are supposed yes, to be constructed? There are building code, uh, codes uh, recommended for the human Kashmir state. They are existing. But they are not adhered to it. Nobody follows them. Uh, there is no one to put a check on it? Whether these codes who are being followed or not? Ho those uh, who are at the helm of it is the government. They should put a check. But they are not. They are not. A uh, question that does come to mind is this university, this department, do you think it is according to the standards like it's supposed to be? Yes, our, at least our building is, this geology department is according to standards. Yeah. Okay, at least that is a relief. Yes. This As, is earthquake proof building. Mm -hmm. I'd like to understand from you uh, regarding the tectonic plate shift and that is how the earthquakes come, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the basic research that you have done on it? Tectonic plates are moving and stress is developing within the rocks with the passage of time. At the threshold, when that is reached, rocks break and shaking of the earth takes place. We are monitoring, there are a number of agencies who have put their seismic mm -hmm. observatories in Jammu and Kashmir state, sponsored by Minister of Earth Sciences. Say, for example, we have eight, plus 16, 24. Mm -hmm. with ONG, uh, NGRI, then we have eight independently Jammu University throughout the state, they are there. Mm -hmm. We are monitoring the seismic activity in Jammu and Kashmir for last almost 10 years. We placed them in 2009. 10 years data doesn't matter much, we cannot predict anything on this because it is long-term process, generating up stress within the rocks, what is happening. Mm -hmm. But so far what is uh, our results show there are two main clusters in the Jammu and Kashmir state where these minor earthquakes are frequently occurring. A low magnitude, 2, 3, sometimes mm -hmm. 4, 4.5. One is this Kishtwad or Doda area and another is mm -hmm. around Muzfarabad, Odi sector. These are the two clusters mm -hmm. where earthquake activity is there. Rest of the area between say Muzfarabad and Doda or Chamba, we can say, the in between this area is totally blocked, nothing is happening. So this can be a possible You are monitoring the activities, so do you think that before that major earthquake hits, you would be given with enough time frame to give a warning, to issue a warning no, that no, such kind of thing? it is not possible at this stage, no. Not possible at this stage. No. Afterwards, before the earthquake uh, occurs, a little time frame before that, maybe a year, maybe two years before that, would you be no, able you to? Can, you can forecast it. Prediction is impossible at this stage, particularly for German Kashmir. We don't have data for a long time. Ten years data means nothing. You don't have data for a long time? A long time. Why? At least uh, data for 100, 150 years. Then you can say something about this, what will happen in future. So the data wasn't being recorded before or what? No. There was maybe one or two instruments were here and there, but mm -hmm. uh, there is no 
good data for 100 years for the region to say something about the future. We do have data for Jammu and Kashmir region for last 10 years, nothing more. So what about now? Is the government serious about the research? I don't know. You may be knowing better. According to your work, do you think that you get enough support for monitoring, for doing your research? We are getting support from Ministry of Earth Sciences, Government of India. We have at the moment with uh, mm -hmm. NGRI, we have 24 these seismic observatories in Jammu and Kashmir state. We are recording it. And similarly, this Mata Vishnu Devi, uh, they are in collaboration with some agencies in India and abroad. They have their own setup here. Mm -hmm. So and then the monitoring is going on, but the data is of meager nature. Regarding the Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi, how many landslides occur there occasionally? Every other day we hear about there are landslides happening there. What is the reason for that? And have they followed the exact codes that are supposed to be followed while cutting the roads and everything? Do you mean that uh, track to Vishnu Devi? Yeah, Mata the track Vishnu Vishnu Devi. There's human interference because of that. But uh, earthquakes also bring landslides. But it is efficient that we uh, track that's because of the humid interference because uh, the cut slopes are vertical. It is natural by under the gravity influence of gravity those rocks are falling. So are there guidelines that the how the cut is supposed to be? Yes, engineers should know. Mm -hmm. they, uh, yes, road builders should know. And there are guidelines. Yes. And again, do they follow those guidelines? Certainly not. 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 So do you think that people in Jammu and Kashmir are very casual in their approach regarding all these things? And what will be the way out if the, uh, such if an earthquake of such magnitude occurs? I don't know whether they are casual, they have a casual approach or whatever they are. But what are they are doing? They are not following the set norms of excavation of the roads or construction of the roads. When you cut the slope, the angle of repose should be less than 30. But if whenever you see Wherever there is a cutting, cutting is vertical, 80, 90 degrees. It is bound to fall. So what will be the consequences of that in the long run? Everybody knows, so shooting stones will come, it will hit somebody and they are getting killed. So on that note, I think... We'll go on, unless and until you manage your roads and slopes. You've heard what Professor Butt has to say, that there are some guidelines set in place. There are some things that need to be followed to ensure safety of the people and to ensure that people don't die in the long run. This was Pallavi Sarin on The Straight Line.